Okay. Um, first, I want to say how uh, uh, this job is really fun when you get to spend time uh, with guys like Tom Allen and Kalen DeBoer. Uh, Kalen and I spent a bunch of time this summer hanging out at his pool. I don't have a pool. He's got one, so I, I spent most of my summer over him with my boys uh, and, and ha enjoyed that time together with our families. Same deal with Tom Allen, just the relationship that we've built over the years in, in different capacities and different ways. Um, he's one of my best friends in the world. I trust him. Uh, and, and just to be able to do that with those guys is really fun. Uh, uh, Swarm D is ready to go. Our Swarm D culture and what we believe here, I think we're in a really good place. Um, we believe that after, uh, re the responsibility of stopping the offense, whether it be run or pass, is placed on all 11 shoulders of the defense. And I think right now, anybody that walks out on that field and represents the Swarm D believes that purpose uh, when they walk out there, and I think that's really important. I love our coaches and players, um, the guys that I get to work with in the meeting room, and Mark Hagan, Brandon Shelby, and Casey Teagarden do a phenomenal job. We've built trust with one another. That, that trust is earned. Uh, it's not just something that happens when you walk in the door, uh, but really excited about just the group that we have and the confidence we have in one another. Um, uh, as coaches, our responsibility are to capture the thoughts and inspire the actions of our players, and I think we've done that to this point. All right. Um, our players, their responsibility uh, to this defense, the Swarm defense, is we want to create an environment where unique individuals care more about the success of others than they do themselves. And I think when you do that, uh, we all accomplish our goals both individually and collectively. I think we're well on our way to doing those things. If you review from spring and summer, I think we're ahead of where we are. Um, very uh, youthful experience. We do have experience, but it is a youthful group. Um, I think that's a good thing because we're going to have these guys for the next few years. That's a very exciting piece as Tom has built this place for the long haul. Um, I think uh, it puts us ahead for where we want to go in terms of our, our fall camp installation. We'll get about 90% of our installation done in the first five days of practice just because of what our guys have been able to accomplish from the spring and into the summertime, which is uh, pretty exciting for us to be able to get that in. And that way we just rep and rep and rep the things that we're going to do all season long, and those won't change. Um, in terms of the culture of our defense, all right, we believe in confidence and we believe in swagger, all right, and we believe in, in leaning into one another uh, because that's how you handle the adversities that this conference, conference brings week in and week out. Um, and I think we're prepared to do that. Our fall emphasis, uh, uh, the three things that we always talk about in our defense, we will emphasize takeaways, tackling, and effort, um, along with the fourth one this fall will be communication. All right, we've got to be great communicators out there on that field. I hope when you guys come out to practice, you see us. All right, you will be able to hear it will be loud on the defensive side of the football every single snap. All right, and if not, then that's something you need to ask me about because I'm not holding them accountable for what I said I was going to do. Okay. Um, Tom Allen's made no bones about it that this, this place, when he took over here three years ago as a defensive coordinator and then head coach, that we wanted to be a top 25 defense. We've accomplished a lot of those goals over the last three years. Uh, I think we were right outside in total defense, uh, inside the top 25 in third down defense, first down defense, tackles for loss and takeaways. Pretty amazing accomplishment uh, considering what he's been able to do in three years. But there's still things left out there. We want to be a top 25 scoring defense, and that's what, that, what our goal and our ability is. Rushing defense and red zone defense, those are things that have not been accomplished in a number of years here, uh, and that is, that is the goal for us. Uh, and then the last thing, defensively, I think overall, we want, to, we want to change the outcome of close games, and that's what we want to be responsible for. We want to put that on our shoulders. That's a team effort, but we have to do our job in that regard. So uh, excited to get going for this year. Questions? Yeah, I mean, it was a good question because at 26 years old, I was like, I thought I had just about all the answers and I was ready to go, you know. I think, I think we're, as I reflect back on that, I was ready to a point to be a defensive coordinator at that point. And uh, part of that was just spending time in this system. When you grow up in this system, it doesn't change. You don't go from one defensive system to another. The terminology, all those things are just built into who you become, you know what I mean? And so that, that learning curve of always being around this system under my dad 
And then you're around good coaches. I, the, I thought the best thing that my, my father did to graduate assistants is he always treated us like full-time coaches. So my last year at Ole Miss, I got to coach a position. I was a full-time guy. I was, uh, got to game plan, you know what I mean? I was heard, you know what I mean? Uh, and that's what I try to do with our graduate assistants because they are an extension of, uh, of us uh, in terms of on-field coaches, and they themselves can do the same thing. Well, I work for Tom Allen, so I'll play pretty aggressive defensively uh, or I won't have my job. So uh, I think uh, we've made no bones about it. We are aggressive attacking defense. I think you have to be so intentional about about uh, creating negative plays for the offense. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm blanking here on the stat where I got this from, uh, but, uh, but there was a team uh, that did a study this off season. It was like, if you create one negative play in a drive, you have a 75% chance of holding them to a field goal or less or, uh, or, or a getting off the field. And so you talk about creating one negative play in an entire drive, uh, those odds, we, we've got to be able to do those things. At the same time, we have to be very intentional about limiting the opponent's big plays. Notice I didn't say eliminating, right, because they're going to hit a 15-yard comeback every now and then, right, when you're aggressive attacking defense because your corners are playing over the top, right? We can't get frustrated that is with players, coaches, fan base, right? we got to understand what we're trying to do, that every now and then they're going to hit a play. We just can't give up the big plays for touchdowns and create enough negative plays of our own. Yeah, I mean, I, I talk to my dad a whole lot right now, but mainly it's about fishing, his grandsons, and, and taking care of my house. So, because uh, those are the things that he cares about right now. So, that being said, he will come uh, in fall camp. He'll spend about three or four days with us. He'll give me a full analysis of where he thinks that we are from a personnel standpoint and just where we are schematically, uh, which will be really exciting. We'll wait probably a week into camp and then bring him in for about three or four practices there. Um, during the season, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, it's kind of like Mother Bird that, that, that you know, you, f you go and flap your wings and you do your thing. I talked to, when Tom and I both left to be defense coordinators, him and I talked a ton in the off season. We would talk on Thursday and Friday nights. But, you know, it's kind of one of those deals that once you get into the grind, you, you know, you're, you're bunkered down with the people that you're here with. And I feel like we have enough pieces in place here that, you know, I just communicate with our guys for the most part during the season. Yeah, uh, that's a so that's a um, you got to be careful in how you manage that, right? Because when you play more players, that means that you have to dis disseminate the reps among those players to get them ready for a season, right? In doing that, you got to make sure that we're not doing too much so that each player gets the reps that are actually going to transfer over to game day. So that being said, we want to be multiple and aggressive, but I think we have spent countless hours this off season s making sure that we are. Uh, simple enough that our players can go execute and yet multiple in the way that we uh, show ourselves all right, to an offense and the way we present ourselves to an offense. So um, there's a fine line there, but I do think we can take advantage of that and be an aggressive, but at the same time, you've got to make sure that all those reps are being disseminated properly. Well, I think Tom being a defensive coordinator himself, he knows how important it is to build that camaraderie in a staff, right? Especially when he was the defensive coordinator previously, right? Those guys, he's a defensive coordinator and their head coach. So it was important that we felt, and that was something that we talked about, and I, I mean, I totally value what he was able to do, uh, is we were able to build that camaraderie and that chemistry in the room without him, okay? Because like it or not, when the when the head coach walks in the door, you just get a little bit tighter, you know what I mean? And so for us to kind of say, this is what we want to do, and then for me to be able to go to him and say, listen, this is what we're thinking, I want to keep you updated in this and that. Uh, so it was, it was just, I mean, it's all about communication at the end of the day. And I thought him and I had great communication, but he also allowed me to build that chemistry with the defensive staff. And that 
is probably paying off as big as anything going into this season. All right. Thanks, guys.